Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Rishi Raj and this is Android Editing. This video is going to be one of the most useful video for all the YouTubers out there. Now before moving on to the tutorial part, let me explain very quickly what we are going to make today. As an YouTuber or a content creator, after reaching certain milestone, whether it is 1k, 2k or even 1 lakh subscribers, we need to make Q&A videos, which means question and answer in the comments of the viewers. And to edit such videos, we need to show the comment as a screenshot in our videos, which looks like this. But in this video, we will see how we can animate this in KineMaster and give it a very professional look, which will look like this. Not only for screenshot, you can use this technique for images, for videos and also for text. The process is going to be the same in all the cases. So without any further delay, let's move on to the tutorial part. Okay, so right now I'm in the Kind Master application. Click on the plus sign and select the 16 is to 9 ratio. Click on the image option, select the white image. Okay, so now I want my screenshot to remain on the screen for 10 seconds. So I will extend this white layer to 10 seconds. That's it. Now click on the layer option, click on media option and select the screenshot. Okay, extend this screenshot layer to the end. Now click on the cropping option and crop it as you want. Then zoom it and place it somewhere in the middle. Alright. Then click on the layer option, click on the effects option, then click on get more. And here you will get all the effects which you can apply. But right now we will scroll down and go to the transform option and then click on transform and install this effect. I have already installed this effect so I will close this tab. Alright. So from here I will select the transform effect. Now you can see there are three options perspective 1, perspective 2 and distort. So for this particular video we will use the distort effect. You can also try out with the other effects but right now I will show you with the distort effect. Increase the length of the layer to the end. Alright. Then by holding the edges you can drag it and make it full screen like this. Alright. Then go to setting. Now here you can see so many options. You have to apply the exact value which I am going to show you right now. Left top x to 0. Left top y to 120 right top x to 90 right top y to 100 and then right bottom x to 105 right bottom y to 10 bottom x to plus 5 and left bottom y to minus 5 and then zoom at 0 and here you will get an option called as mix original set it to 1 that's it now select the distort layer the effect layer Click on the key option here and then move towards the end and add another key here. Now come back to the initial point and move to 2 seconds. And place a key here by clicking on the plus sign. And then place a key at 8 seconds
now move to the second key drag the edges of the layer option and place it somewhere like this move to the third key do the same here drag the edges and place it somewhere like this now if i move from key 2 to key 3 you can see there is a slight motion so we need this motion all right so let me play it once so there is a slight motion at this part and then it comes to an end so basically it starts with a motion and then there is a slight motion in between and then finally there is a motion towards the end now select the white layer from the background click here and change the color of this layer to green so for that click here on the third option decrease the value of red to zero decrease the value of blue to zero and make sure the value of green is set to maximum which is 255 all right now we'll do one last thing click on the layer option from media go to image option and select a white image then go to the cropping option turn on the mask option and set the feather to 50 extend this layer to the end and zoom this layer something like this and place it somewhere uh, like this so it gives a shine effect on the screenshot now this value is too much so we will go to opacity and decrease opacity to 40 or 35 or even less 30 will be fine yeah that's it now click on the export option and export it in a good quality which is 1080p 30fps and 20 bitrate okay so after exporting the video go back to the main page click on the plus sign and select the 16 is to 9 ratio and now add the main image or main background video which you will have for example here I will add a normal image in the background you can obviously add your main video in the background so suppose this is my main video and I want the comment to pop up somewhere at this part at this part of the video I want the comment to pop up to come out so I'll go to the layer option click on the media add the exported video Now to remove this green screen we need to enable the chroma key so go to chroma key enable it you can slightly adjust this setting 28 to 35 34 and then click on the detail curve option adjust the curve as I am doing here all right zoom it and position it properly all right now go to the cropping option and crop it once again something like this all right now as you can see if i play there's a motion and then there is a slight motion and then finally towards the end there is a motion again now let me add an in animation to it first you have to select the layer and then you have to click on in animation I will apply this light right animation with the animation speed of 0 0.5 once again select the layer go to out animation apply the same effect 
slide right animation with the animation speed of 0.5 so it looks something like this all right now to make this screenshot stand out from the background we will apply a blur effect so click on the layer option then click on effects click on basic effects and select the Gaussian blur increase the length of this layer almost uh, same as the screenshot layer increase the setting to 5 then drag it and make it full screen like this click on the three dots here and send this blur layer to back also we can apply a in animation to the blur layer so select the gaussian blur layer click here to add a in animation fade with the animation speed of 0.5 and then similarly add a out animation fade with 0.5 animation speed so it looks something like this this is our main video and then the comment arrives there is slight motion this is a simple yet a pretty cool animation that you can apply on your videos on screenshots on images and also on text okay so that's all for this video i hope you have learned something new from this video make sure you share the video with your friends who are close to 1k subscribers so they can plan for their first q a video and uh, not only for screenshot, you can apply this same technique on images, on videos and also on text. The process is going to be the same. With that being said, let's end of this video. Stay fit, stay healthy and keep creating.